Today's paper slide presentation is about how to read and understand feedback and or a rubric from Ms. Cranville. So this is going to be in reference to some piece of writing that you've submitted along the way in our class. And the first step is to always look back at the actual piece of writing that you turned in. I will always give you comments or feedback. Um, some of those things may just be circles um, about grammatical errors um, or formatting errors. And then other things you might want to look for are um, notes in the margin. This is going to be where I'm thinking on the paper about things I'm confused about, things I want you to add, or things that I need you to change. Okay, so you'll always want to look for those things. Um, and then at the end, I will usually give you some sort of direction for the revisional process, and that might be something like this. This is a strong start. Revisit the rubric and feedback on your paper for your next submission. So your next step then would be to go back to the actual rubric and look at where you scored. So this person scored a four in the area of focus and then threes in the areas of organization and development. And you can see that I've given checks there so you can tell where this person fell. And then also I gave a little bit of um, feedback on what I actually wanted to improve within those sections and circled or underlined the areas for growth. Okay, so as you're revising your papers, always remember that your writing will never be finished completely or perfect. There is always, always room for revision. Um, and so as you're going through that process, if you ever have questions um, or concerns or just need to talk it out, you can always email me um, at my GCS email or just come find me. A lot of times we get really stuck in our head when we're writing and we're tired of looking at the paper, so a dialogue can be best. So just come find me if you need help.